everyone, welcome home, welcome to the video, long time no see, and finally we have some updates on Wild Rift, albeit not official ones, but data mining from the archives. The game has been quite hard to data mine since, well, a lot of people were trying to do so, skin spotlights, pixel bats were failing, but now we have seen from an anonymous source some stuff over there, some stuff data mine, and the game finally being able to be ripped off, so we can see very interesting info. In this infographic that I've prepared for you, you can see in green the champions that already were in the alphas in Philippines and Brazil, and in yellow those ones who were found in the archives. Some, for example, listing are with more level of detail, and we have a lot of archives relates to them, while some others don't have as much info. I will treat them as very probable champs, but take into account that they could end up not including them on the first version of the game. I think the objective from Riot Games side is including every single champion onto the Wild Rift, but I understand that they have to go step by step and they just can't integrate everything into the first batch. I hope like in three years or so, or even less, a couple, we will see every champion on Wild Rift. Then we have this bright lux that is, whoa, I like a bit amazed with this. It seems like a new skill line, the bright lux. I don't think it's canon since all these bright archives were of this kind. We can see like a celestial city, a celestial palace, then some stuff here looming between the clouds. This inside, yeah, this thing could be quite Demacia, but I think Demacia has a bit more of a medieval, late medieval time, vibe, sorry, but this is more like, let's say, classicist. It's more a bit of the 18th century or so, even 19th. So I think, well, we can see it's not canon, but it's curious, they want to try and make some things here. Could be an exclusive skin for Wild Rift, could be some kind of test, and I would love seeing a skin first on Wild Rift and then on PC League, or launching on both games as well. Everything, as I'm telling you, was data mining. We can see some and stuff over here from different interfaces and everything tells us something. And what does this tell us? Well, first of all, Tristana sings confirm, then we are going to check all the list down with every champion, don't worry. Tristana sings confirm for Wild Rift. We have seen here this screenshot from China, so yeah, this you can see it's the background with the turret there where every champion can be seen in the model viewer. Then we have this map that I think is like a type of training grounds or place to try some stuff. These little roads uh, seem very curious to me and this is a strange shape. As you can see the map seems quite small. We could have like, yeah, turrets here, yeah, two turrets could be, but in a very cramped space. So let's see when this advances, what is this? Maybe it's a, add a, an Aran ripoff. It's like trying to add a bit of more complexity to the Arans, adding the feelings like, for example, in a mid lane fight in Summoner's Rift that you can go a bit around with this path in the jungle, maybe. But I'm very curious to see what this is, and I really hope it's not just an internal test tool, but a new game mode. But time will tell. Then we have this stuff for stories. There are quite a, a bit of these arts, and I think it could be a system similar to this one in Mobile Legends or Arnor Valor or, well, some quite good chunk of games of discovering the story of champions through missions, discovering stuff about them. I think if we have something like that where they can integrate the lore 
more deeply into the game will be something amazing. The lore is disconnected from the events in the game itself and having this perspective on what the lore really is will be super, super, super cool. I would love to discover a bit more of the game universe through playing missions, through playing games. And I think it will be a very good way to start people into the lore because I recognize, although I love it, that League of Legends lore is a bit hard to get into because you just don't know where to start. Then jumping onto other stuff, we can see here a Hested box, there is also an archive for an orange box, similar to PC League. This is more generic and the orange one is like premium, you have a higher chance of higher paying skins and you can't get champions, you only get skins. And here this orb, this triangular form is like maybe related to project, but I don't really know why. Uh, Maybe it's not project at all, and it's just uh, another thing, but here we have it. Then this is very interesting and it's a bit related with this that a guy called Chico Ibi found on, on the archives. And it's this 7. 7 is a key number in mobile gaming. Why? Because if you have a person play a mobile game for 7 days straight up, opening the app every day, there is a high, high chance that person is going to play the game into the long term. The seven day retention is very important. And well, if you then transform that into a person playing the game for a full month and the game has enough depth to offer that playability and while Rift of course has is League of Legends, the person is getting into being an usual player of the game. Then we have this that is for reputation. Maybe they combine this honor system in League of Legends with another system of reputation, like in, for example, Mobile Legends is if you queue for a match and reject it too many times, you lose, you can't lose. If you get out of a match, either being AFK or getting out in champion selection, you can also lose your reputation and it's a way of like getting players encouraging them to do better. Then we can see this penguin that is clearly from QQ, Tencent, that stuff is Chinese apps. This penguin, there are a lot of icons within the Tencent penguin. There are a lot of icons that are related to what seems to be WeChat or something like that. And these one, two, three icons. They are showing us that they want to deeply integrate some way of communication, some way of socializing. We see also a lot of icons from social media apps, like as I told you, Line, WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook. We are going to see some key integrations. And well, around here, nothing more special to see. But these things is curious to me because yeah, we have this box that since that this well, capsule is going to be the reward for being seven days logging into the game. And then these three others that you can see, they have more gems as we go up. We have these blue essences that are going to be used in order to buy new champions. But these two are just blue essence as well, are new kinds of essence, are just extra rewards besides these essence champion, fragments, etc. We don't know. We also see these assets that they can make me think if we link them with this Lux as a bribe, that maybe, maybe, maybe Riot is thinking on making some extra promotions or some special events in Wild Rift. I think if they go full hand on like mobile native stuff of events, custom events, putting a lot of stuff to do into the game, getting a very reinforced meta game that, yeah, League of Legends PC doesn't have that as, as a key part. The meta game in League PC is just select your room, select your champion, summoners, spells, and that. But the meta, the out of the game system, 
y Mobile Games Time to be quite complex and there are a lot of details into the menus. So, very curious to see what this ends up being about. And well, in the end, nothing more. We have seen also some scenarios for skins, like for example, this is a God King scenario. We can see here this Urf, Urf aquí, Urf de Manati. And well, nothing more. As I was telling you, let's jump into the champions. These are the leagues. Aatrox, Amumu, Caitlyn, Corky, Darius, Diana, Draven. Mundo is a curious case because I think Mundo will be pulled outside. It will be pulled to the side since he's getting a rework. And I don't see the point of getting a champion into the game when he's being reworked and being totally different. I see there could be a problem of disconnection between Wild Reef and PC League. But the archives are there. Dengalio, Irelia, Jarvan, Jace, Katarina, Kennen, Kasix, Lissing, lot of archives about Lissing, Leona, Lucian, Lulu, Morgana, Nidali, Pantheon, Queen, Rakan, Ramus, Riven, Rumble, Sihuani, Singe, Sona, Timo, Thresh, Tristana, that we saw her already, the Rat, Varus, Vegar, Vladimir, Hukon, and Shaya. About John and about Lilia. We don't know, and it's normal they are in, in the archives since they are quite new champions. In fact, they haven't been even released to the official league server yet, and Johnny isn't even on the PB league server. So, well, this is everything we had to see. I hope you enjoyed the video. And just tell me, what do you think about all the stuff we have seen? Thank you for being there. See you next time. Bye-bye.